Today on In the Woodyard, he's here, the man, the myth, the legend. The man of Easton Made. The man who's gonna be the machine on the machine. We're gonna do some resplits. here we go. So last night before the storm, Gavin and Bert and I processed this trailer load full and then about a half a trailer load full and then it got dark and storms came so we quit. And my trailer's still full, so we got two and a half trailer loads full of wood right now that need to be split resplit and put into the elevator and then up into the big massive bin which is starting to grow so this afternoon we are going to uh, start up the generator and plug in the elevator start up the Easton Made Ultra we're going to jack up the PJ trailer let her rip and uh, we're going to do resplits now the resplits we've been doing have been going extremely fast um, the other day we did a, a batch where we had all four of us out here. I think we did the whole trail load in like 20 minutes uh, because we're, we're putting probably 80% of it just right into the elevator and up and in. I mean, there's most of this like stuff like this and this, but like this one didn't get split at all. And then some of these I'll split in half, some of these, some of the bigger ones. But a lot of it we're just throwing right in as it is. So that should be good for now. That's high enough. Let's get to work. That means there's a problem. We had to do some fixing. Had an O-ring go out. So we fixed her up and she's good to go now. So we were splitting along like two happy little boys and the detent on the splitter wouldn't work and we couldn't go back at all. And what happens is when you get inside of this, there's a little valve, there's a valve in there for the detent. And this is the O-ring and it was flat when we took it out. It's got grooves in it now and it needs to be round. Over time, what happens is it'll fill with hydraulic fluid. And it's happened twice before, so this is the third time I've taken it off. But not this year. I haven't taken it out for like a whole year. And the last time I replaced one, it was actually torn. Um, but just enough built up in there just over time with pressure that it fills up and then you're, you can't push the lever back and then your detent doesn't work and you can't actually get the hydraulic uh, rod to go back because you got too much pressure inside of here so we took it apart put another o-ring in if that doesn't solve it then there might be something wrong on the inside but last time i took this ring out and replaced it right in this thing right back here um, 
that's what it was. So we should be good. So we're going to start her back up and get back to work. So the repairs work just fine. You ran the lever, everything's good? Yeah. So it's running good, so we just moved everything. Good is there, we're up. Did a duck just fly over? I think so. <laughs> we got everything moved over. Uh, the elevator was over there, and now it's over here. We moved the tra new trailer into place. We got one more to go, so we're gonna pound this one out. Here we go. It's gotta pull hard, both hands. Fast.
So we just had an accident. We had the camera tip over and my little audio jack that goes right here ripped out. So my main camera, I have no audio on it. So we're shooting this with my backup third, fourth camera. I don't know whichever one it is, but we finished the whole trail load full. So there it is. There's a, a it looks kind of like the Grand Tetons almost. Now it's starting to look like. But there it is. That's it for today. Tomorrow we're going to do some processing. We're going to start what time in the morning? Probably about 5 o'clock. 5 a.m. we're going to be here. Hopefully it's not raining. Yeah. Shit happens. <laughs> so we're going to be processing some wood in the morning. See you then. Pokes and Buttons will be back tomorrow at 5.30 a.m. Another video. If you're right now, you should go watch a video and what else? Good night, Irene. Mm -hmm.